Hi everyone. You can't see? I can't see. It's so bright. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> it is Craig here with Kylie and today we are at Disney Springs. So we are standing right outside of Chicken Guy, the newest quick service eatery here at Disney Springs. Uh, Brought to you by Robert Earl and, of course, Guy Fieri. <laughs> and so I had a little bit of a preview of this place a couple days ago, but decided now that it's open, why not come out and try it for real? See what it's like on a normal day. So it's still relatively new. Very busy, so it'll be interesting to see how it handles these lines, but we're going to go get some food. Yeah. What are you starting with? The milkshake, because it's having a rough time in the Florida sun. It's the triple, double mint milkshake. And it's really melting. That's chicken taste. Eight, That's really good. I feel like I have it everywhere. Um, it tastes like a very delicious shamrock shake with extra chocolate, so I love it. Very messy. And it has Oreos, chocolate chips, and then it looks like a mint cookie on the side. So if you don't like <laughs> chewing your milkshake, I don't know if this would be for you. I love it though. Even though it's melting, it's still pretty thick. Yeah, I love the mint. There's a lot of mix-ins in here for me. But it's a good milkshake. For $4.99, you're getting a lot for your money. It feels like there was a lot of thought put in. Next thing I'm gonna try, we ordered the fried pickles. They're $2.99. And we're gonna have them with the buttermilk ranch sauce. I'm gonna have the first one on its own. I like it. The pickle's not overly soggy on the inside. Not really at all, but a very crisp outside. There's a lot of seasoning in this. It is, it's not just like, salty it's it's really bursting with flavor um, I can't pinpoint what seasoning so some might actually find this a little spicy so it might be balanced out nicely with the ranch mm. it absolutely is this is a really good homemade ranch It doesn't taste like your average bottle of Hidden Valley or Crab Ranch with it. It's really good, but you're you're the fried pickle connoisseur, so I'm gonna let you dig into these. Okay, so I am nervous that you said it was spicy, but I could eat that ranch by itself. It is so good. Oh my goodness. The pickles were also very delicious, but it was kind of overshadowed by the ranch. Good or good fried pickles. Mm. So what do you want to try next? Hmm. I vote, we got the, Big Bite BLAT sandwich. Um, 
it's got an avocado dressing on it. I'm gonna give you the details in just a second so I'm not telling you wrong after I take a bite, because I'm selfish. <laughs> That's really good. Very, very delicious. Everything so messy. <laughs> Okay, so the Big Bite BLAT has um, smoked bacon, lettuce, tomato, avocado crema, and buttermilk ranch, and a chicken. Do you want to try? Oh, jeez. Oh, man, it is getting windy out here. All our stuff's about to start blowing away. Fixing problems left and right in my life. So, yeah. I didn't have this one yet, so I'm excited to try it. Yeah, this thing's really delicious, so the flavor I'm getting from the most with it is absolutely the chicken tenders and the bacon. Um, the, the buttermilk ranch is coming through a little bit, not a, not a ton. Same goes with the avocado crema. It's, it's there, but it's not really it's not really what's capturing everything. It really is the bacon and the chicken tenders. And I guess that's kind of what you want to be the star of it. So I'm gonna enjoy eating more of this just in a little bit, but I'm gonna get into the actual chicken tenders that we got. So uh, you can get chicken tenders here in a three piece or five piece situation, and you can get them fried or grilled. And then with each of them, you get two choices of sauces. There's 22 sauces total, so you really have to make your decisions. Uh, we tried to do a little bit mix. They're all signature sauces, but you know, they're signature for a reason. Um, we got the donkey sauce, of course, which Kylie's never had donkey sauce. She hasn't eaten Planet Hollywood, so she'll be excited about that. We have the special sauce, number one, and then I chose the exotic cumin lime mojo as well as the curry mayonnaise. So, I'm going to open up the curry mayonnaise first, and I'm gonna start with a grilled. Oh. So the tender itself is so moist and flavorful, like, I really, I, I can't tell you. It's the, it's the perfect piece of grilled chicken, honestly. And it's just not overly salty, not nothing like that. It's just really well done. And I really enjoy the curry mayo, but I'm gonna go with the cumin lime mojo now for the other bite, because this is a two bite chicken for me. Human lime boho. That was a decent sauce, for sure. So, um, very limey. And a lot of cumin. But I guess that's right in the name, so I don't know why I didn't expect that. It's not my favorite sauce, but it's not bad. I just probably won't get it again, if I'm being perfectly honest. So, I'm gonna go fried now and start with the special sauce. The fried tenders here are perfect. The seasoning, the guy Fieri came up with it, is just, it's right on the money. It's, it's a nice crispy outside, but a very solid moist inside still, still very hot. And it's been sitting on our table now for probably 10 minutes. And again, it's not, it's, it's, there's a lot of spice flavors happening in there. It's not overly spicy. It's not overly salty. It's just a really well-balanced tender. And the special sauce is nice. It's like a Big Mac sauce in a way. 
and I thought it was pretty good. And I like it a lot with the donkey sauce. But I'm gonna eat a bite of a fry too because it's one of the special Guy Fieri fries. And it's a solid fry. Tastes like a french fry with seasoning salt on it. So yeah, I'm gonna sit with all this, think about it. I'm gonna let you dig in now. Uh, all right, now I'm not 100% sure what sauce is which. Yes. What do you want first? I'm gonna do... Special sauce, donkey, cumin lime mojo, and then curry. Okay, I'm gonna do the ones I'm nervous about first. So I'm gonna do the curry. Um, not for you? Not for me. Okay. I'm not a big fan of curry, so I kind of assumed that. So, let's get this in the air real quick. The cumin lime mojo is okay. Actually, on Sunday. Very cumin-y, as you said. Um, not a lot of lime. I was expecting a little bit more of that. I don't know. I'm going to try the tongue. She felt that we weren't off, and why wouldn't she come get us? She didn't say anything when she saw me at 8 o'clock in the morning. Really? Really? I don't know what flavors. So why I thought you guys were going? Uh, like, I don't think I'm a huge so fan of that one. It has a very strange consistency. It's almost like a. My thing is like. It's a mix between a. She's trying to think of the right word. Like a mayo and a hummus. Because it's got like weird chunks in it. Sorry. And then the one I'm excited about, because it has pickle juice in it, is the special sauce. It's a very Zaxby's sauce, which I'm a huge fan of. But so far, the best sauce to me is the buttermilk ranch, how southern. And then the fried pickles. Oh, I guess I should try the fried chicken. Yeah. And she also got the fact that yesterday. But as you said, the grilled chicken was she grilled said, oh, well, perfectly. I could have had the chicken on its own. It held up. Yeah. That's why I can't find them for my game. What, two hours? I actually prefer the grilled chicken. But both are very delicious. And have a fry. Okay, good fry. We are all wrapped up at Chicken Guy, and full disclosure, uh, you can maybe, just maybe, tell that. Looks a little bit different outside. I mean, there's still sun. And I cried through all the makeup. So. Yeah. So, uh, in <laughs> full uh, full transparency here, we had movie tickets for Christopher Robin. So essentially, we like rushed and rushed to eat all our food, <laughs> just shoving it in our faces, and then we ran to the movie theater just to make it in time. And then they're like, "Okay, well, I guess we'll have to kind of go a little bit more in depth afterwards now." So that's what we're doing. Uh, so let's kind of go <laughs> over it all again. So if you don't remember, which you do, you just watched it, but I'm doing it from my own memory. We did a combo with the with the one sandwich, which was... The Big Bite BLAT, which had crispy smoked bacon, lettuce, avocado crema, tomatoes, and buttermilk ranch. And it was really good. And it also had fried chicken on it. They don't really mention that, but that's important. Yeah, all the sandwiches are served with two pieces of fried chicken. Just it's so you know. A chicken guy. Yeah, you're a chicken guy. <laughs> they do chicken right, and they do it a lot. So we had that. 
with the combo with the fries. We talked about the fries. Um, they're fries. They're standard. Yeah. And that combo costs eleven forty nine. So I think it's a great value under twelve dollars. The sandwich was huge, massive. It was delicious. Uh, I really had no no issues with it. So I know you peeled off some of the bacon. You're not really a bacon eater though, no. like I am. No. So it was still good. Um, it was just like a large sandwich. I have a, a hard time like biting yeah. down into big sandwiches, um, but I liked it. Yeah. So I probably would have deconstructed it and ate it like that. But we were once again we were really pressed on time. So yeah. So we also got each set of tenders, the grilled and the fried. And we got we opted for the three piece. Those were five ninety nine. Those come with two dipping sauces. So we got the four dipping sauces with that. Uh, you can also get a five piece chicken tender. And can you look at the price on that real quick? Yes, it is seven ninety nine. Seven ninety nine. So in that you don't get extra dipping sauces. You only get two dipping sauces, which eat with each of those two. So it just depends on how hungry you are. And that combo for eleven forty nine that I mentioned before. You can get that with the three-piece tenders as well, too, if you don't want the sandwich. So it's an option for you. Uh, I think still, like, as time has passed on, while I love both of them, I think the fried chicken is fried chicken tenders done really right. And I know you still prefer the grilled ones, though. Yeah, but I, I usually prefer grilled chicken. Yeah. Publix chicken. Yeah, I don't think you can go wrong with either. They're both really delicious. They're well-seasoned, well-cooked incredibly moist um are the one thing to mention though is that the grilled tenders definitely lose their heat a lot faster whereas the the fried ones they will stay hot for a long time so just keep that in mind especially if you want to do takeout because you that is an option you can always take it to go uh then of course we had the fried pickles Which and that was awesome. $2.99 yep yes. They were really good, and they had that buttermilk ranch. And if I could go back, I would get more ranch because it was really good. Yeah, absolutely. So as time has passed, those still left a good flavor in my mouth. They were really, really well done. Uh, fried pickles, it's always hit or miss. A lot of times it's too soggy from the oil and grease. I think these ones were done very, very well. Uh, and then to wrap it up, we had the milkshake, which can you read over what that was again? Yeah. Because... I can't remember it off the top of my head, and you have the menu with you. I sure do. So we did the triple double mint, which is hand spun mint soft serve, um, crushed Oreo cookies, chocolate mint, chocolate syrup, <laughs> chocolate syrup, and whipped cream. Yep. And I think it's delicious. I've had both milkshakes, uh, that one as well as the apple cinnamon. I do, frankly, prefer the apple cinnamon, but. Uh, I think they're both delicious. I just, I, I don't like chocolate chunks. So like Kylie mentioned in the vlog, if you like eating your milkshake, it's a great one. But for me, I just like a nice and smooth milkshake. -y. So uh, I will probably not get the mint one again. That's just based on my preference though. Then I want to run over the sauces one more time very quickly. I know. We had the special sauce. What's in the special sauce? Mayo and ketchup, mustard, pickle juice, and chicken guy, special spices and seasoning. Then we had the donkey sauce, which is mayo, roasted garlic, mustard, worsh, I can't say worsh that. Worcestershire. 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 <laughs> Worcestershire and lemon. And then we had curry mayo, which is another word I can't say, so I'm sorry, everyone. Coriander, cumin. Cumin, turmeric. Okay, you can take over. Yeah, that's coriander, cumin, turmeric, chili powder, garlic, lime, and mayo. And then the cumin lime mojo was cumin, lime, cilantro, roasted garlic. There was definitely. I would have been able to say all those words. Yeah, there was definitely uh, a lot of cilantro. The cilantro didn't hit me up front, but later on, because I know I said right away I tasted the cumin as well as the lime, and then that cilantro hit hard really quick later. I like cilantro, but if, you, if you're if you not a fan of cilantro, which I know there's people out there think it tastes like soap, do not do this one. It's it's not for you. So those were our sauces. And then of course the buttermilk ranch. They do have ketchup if you like to be a plain Jane with it. But the big selling point of this restaurant is that uh, everything is cheap. They designed it around not spending more than $12 on a meal in general with 
uh, no menu item being over eight dollars and so do you think that they did a good job with this place is this an accomplishment Absolutely. I think so especially because uh, Disney Springs a lot of the restaurants are so expensive so it's hard to like come down here and like go shopping and then on top of shopping eat at an expensive restaurant so it's kind of a nice like especially because you're right outside the shopping district I would call it like yeah the Columbia's the and, town center oh, excuse me I don't the official name of it. Yes. Um, so. But I really enjoyed it. I would come back here. Absolutely. Yeah. This is uh, this is definitely budget friendly. So I think it's going to be very popular. The line has been out the door is every time I've been out here so far today, which is only twice, but that's a good amount of time. That's still a good amount of time. So uh, it's definitely resonating very well. Uh, you can tell a lot of off-duty cast members are coming in and getting food. I don't know if they're taking it with them to go or what, but a lot of them, a lot of them are enjoying this too. I think, I think it'll just be popular for a very, very uh, long time as long as the quality holds up. And it's such basic food that I think it would be really hard for it to slip. So, uh, you mentioned that it's right outside of the shopping district town center. Uh, to be very clear about it. It is just on the right side of Planet Hollywood Observatory. So if you're standing kind of over by uh, the Coke store looking at Planet Hollywood, it is off to the right before you get to the covered section leading into town center. So to the left, to the left. yes, yeah, sorry, <laughs> my bad. The covered part is to the right. It's just to the left. It's, it's going to be right across from where the new Wolfgang Puck is over here on the west side of things. So I think it's a hit. Kylie thinks it's a hit. I think you should come try it. So uh, the big thing is just be safe with your sauces. So don't don't go crazy with it. Choose ones that you won't like because that could honestly make or break your experience here. So choose wisely and let us know what you think when you finally come here down in those comments below. So of course, hit that thumbs up if you liked it, share all that good stuff. So we'll see you again for another uh, good food video in the future. But until then, thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> you must check out the phone. That was so scary. Yeah. There was an old man that just did not see my arm out holding my phone, and he almost walked right into it. So now, bye. <laughs> <laughs>